everyone, welcome back to another video. If you're new here, I'm Vanessa and I do bookish and writing related content. So if that's something you're into, stick around and hit that subscribe button. So today's video is going to be a discussion video and I wanted to talk a little bit about some of the pressures of being in the booktube community or some of the things I've noticed at least. Um, I know some people have done this topic before and talked about pressures within um, booktube and I'm not gonna go into some of um, the more obvious ones that people have talked about before like having to read a lot of books or buy a lot of books or read hyped up books but I kind of wanted to talk about kind of three more specific pressures that don't really get talked about too much I don't think and I've just been noticing it uh, come up a little bit more recently so that's what I wanted to talk about today so kind of the three pressures that I've noticed I wanted to talk about have to do with uploading consistently every week um, or explaining why you haven't been uploading or have been gone for a while. And the third one is disclaimers about your honest opinion about a book. So let's first start with uh, video uploads. Now I've seen booktubers and like the beginning intro of their videos will sometimes um, apologize for being gone or taking a break and explaining uh, why they've been gone or why they've taken a break for so long. And kind of what I wanted to say about that is first off, don't feel like you have to post every week. Um, if you want to, great, you can. If you don't, you don't have to. You can post every other week. You can post once a month. You can post every day. It's really up to you. It's really your channel, so post as much or as little as you want. Now, in your videos, if you want to acknowledge that you've been gone for a while and explain why, that's fine. That's up to you. But I don't believe you need to feel guilty about not posting or feel like you owe anyone an explanation of why you've taken a break. For most of us, booktube is a hobby. It's not a job. We're not getting paid to do this. This is something that's just for fun. So I don't think we should be putting that sort of pressure on ourselves as if it was a job, as if we have to be posting every week, or as if we have to give an explanation of why we haven't posted. Life happens. Circumstances happen. People get busy. Things come up, there are more important things than, you know, posting a booktube video every week. So, you know, life happens and if you need to take a break or you can't post for a while, that's fine. You don't owe anyone an explanation for not having a video up. It's totally up to you. As you guys have probably noticed, I haven't posted a video. This is my first video in a little over two weeks. I took a break for a couple of weeks and I don't feel like I need to explain why. So it is what it is really. So I hope that helps because booktube is supposed to be something that's fun and I don't want anyone to feel pressured or stressed or feel guilty for not being able to post consistently every week. So that's kind of what I wanted to say about the first two pressures. Just don't feel like you need to post every week. Do what works the best for you. And don't feel like you owe anyone an explanation for being gone. Life happens. We all get it. And remember, this is a hobby, not a job. For most of us, this is a hobby. It's not a job. So just enjoy it and have fun. Now, kind of the third pressure I wanted to talk about were surrounding disclaimers. I've seen this more recently, especially where a booktuber's opinions about a book or a topic um, might not be the popular opinion. 
Um, so if there's a hyped up book that everyone's loving and someone didn't really love it, um, I've seen people start doing these disclaimers where, you know, they explain like, just because they didn't like the book or they had certain issues with it doesn't mean that it's a bad book or other people can't like it or whatever the case is. And I feel like that is something that shouldn't have to be said. Um, it's kind of sad that we've gotten to a point where that's something that needs to be said. Um, I don't get why anyone would become offended by someone not liking a book that they love. You know, we all have different reading tastes. Um, not you know, just because a book is popular doesn't mean every single person who reads it is going to love it. Um, and so I don't really care why we've gotten to a point where we need disclaimers on things like this. Um, but I just kind of want to throw it out there. Like, don't get offended if someone doesn't love, if a booktuber doesn't love a book that you love. It's fine. We all have different reading tastes. There are books that I've loved that I've seen uh, booktubers, other booktubers do negative reviews for. Popular books like Sarah J. Mass and Cassandra Clare. Um, I love them, but just because someone else doesn't, doesn't mean they're bashing or insulting you or your reading taste. Most of the books I've seen that you know, may have a negative review of the book, they're not, the booktuber isn't, you know, bashing on the book or at least from the reviews I've seen because I know some people do rent reviews where they do kind of bash on the book. Um, I usually don't watch those anyway, but from the negative uh, book reviews I've seen, most of the time they're not bashing on the book or bashing on people who like the book. It's just they particularly didn't enjoy it and they kind of explained why and that's that. Um, which is what I usually do on my reviews as well. There have been, you know, hyped up books that I didn't really enjoy and I've explained my, like, why I didn't like them, what issues I had with the books and explain like, hey, that's just me. That's my reading taste. Um, but again, we're all different. So what works for me might not work for you. And what works for you probably won't work for me. You know, no one's bashing or insulting your reading taste if you like a book that a book reviewer doesn't like. So yeah, just keep that in mind because I don't get why we have some of these disclaimers. Which I will say has gotten better. Um, I think it was a while ago where I started to see more and more disclaimers, but now not so much now anymore. So I think it has gotten better. Um, but just keep in mind, we all have different reading tastes. And there's nothing wrong with that. So that's it. That's kind of what I wanted to talk about today. Let me know in the comments below what are some of your thoughts on this topic. Have you ever felt any of these pressures or any other pressures within the community? And what advice would you give to others who do feel these pressures? Let me know in the comments below and don't forget to subscribe if you haven't already. And I will see you guys in the next video. Bye!